Okay, I'm going to show you how we uh, heat treat our blades and how we prep them for the heat treat. Um, the steel itself is a coho blade. Uh, if you put it in the oven without any protection, it's going to oxidize uh, and the carbon will be draw, drawn out of it and you won't be able to get the hardness you're looking for. What knife makers typically do is wrap uh, their, uh, their blades in um, what's called uh, Dual wrap, which is a thin stainless steel foil. It's meant to stand the same temperature as the, as the blade. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Just put our uh, coho into the wrapper here and start wrapping it up. So now yeah, I'm just folding each of the edges over here. Get a good seal against oxygen. Pressing it in tight. Get a little bit of a clamp in the vise to make sure those corners are as tight as they can be. And I'll take it off to the oven. And finally along the main seam here. Okay, so with safety in mind, I've got my hand face mask on here and include gloves and a pretty heavy layer of cotton. Um, getting ready to load the machine or oven. So what I'm going to do is it's uh, moving its way up toward uh, hardening temperature. So I'm going to use this long reach wire to stuff it in here. I sit it down so that it's on the uh, on the spine of the blade. I won't be able to take them all out at once, but I'll load them at once. You always want to keep that as quick as possible to reduce the heat loss, but uh, now we're good for uh, a while now as it, uh, it brings the blades up to temperature. The oven's up at 2,000 degrees and we're about to take the knives out and quench them between these aluminum plates here. Okay, so we've got uh, a bunch of knives sitting in the oven right now. Uh, working through the tempering cycle. Tempering is the second stage of our overall heat treat process. Uh, and what it does is it takes the glassy hard uh, steel that comes up the hardening process and strengthens it. Uh, if, it if you just try to use a knife and out, of the, out of the hardening cycle, it's gonna break. Uh, so it's so brittle. Uh, whereas once it's tempered, it uh, becomes a usable blade. It's, uh, still hard, but it's strong now. Structure inside the steel has actually been modified during that process. And for this particular case, we will run the tempering cycle for a couple of hours, let the knife cool down, and then put it in for another couple of hours. A fairly standard uh, tempering process. Okay, so there's a knife that's come out of, uh, out of tempering. It doesn't look much different than it did when it comes out of heat treat. Uh, that rainbowy, sort of white rainbowy uh, look is what we're after. Uh, and it's a good start, uh, solid piece of uh, steel right now, nice piece of knife blade there. And uh, we're going into the final stages now and we just have to basically give that a bit of a blast to get the oxide off and then we can take it back to our buffer and do some final finishing.